In this video, I will show the new version of the Sperm Class Analyzer, the SCA 6.3. The main characteristic of this version is that all actions react faster than ever. That means to add, delete, sperms fields, changing from window to window, save to file, or save to the database, it's faster than previous versions. Another characteristic is that the size of the images, videos, and results, it's smaller. That means to will be faster to send the, these files to one computer to another, or save to the database and to the disk will save space. Another characteristic is that it's easier to customize everything to your needs and it's more user friendly. And finally, one of uh, we add a new customer experience improvement program. That means that errors will be sent to Microptic automatically if you decide. And in that way, will be easy for us to fix the bugs that you can find. So now I will go directly to the program to start the program. It's SCA 6.3. This version of the program has different languages. There are 16 different languages that you can select from here. Also, it has different systems, the full, the capture, the editor, and the viewer, and different editions, the human, the light, the bed, the talks, the production, and the research, depending on your needs. So we go directly to the system. First of all, you have to select the user. It's possible to have different users depending what you want to do in the system. So for example, if we select here the administrator, the administrator can do everything. For example, here we can edit this administrator. We can change the different roles. All these roles is possible to customize. Also in this new version, we add this user account disabled. So if you press here, this user will be not showing the main window. Okay. So now we can go directly to create a new sample. Here we add a new customer ID. We press here. Here we can write the name. We can write the surname the date of birth. And in this version, there is a new thing that if you press with the right mouse, you can change the world directly. So it's easy to, to change that. Wipe name. And you can write here the, the name. Okay, so all the these optional fields, it's possible to customize. Also here, you can select for this patient, which language do you want the report so you can select the report so for each patient you can have different reports with different languages also it's possible to import uh, from an excel file all the patients in your database directly or also it's possible to connect the sca database with the list system of your hospital once you have this also it's possible to add new doctor here we can add the doctor Again, we can write here the name, the surname. Also, it's possible to customize here. We can press address, for example. And here you can customize all these fields just pressing with the right mouse button. And the same here in the main window, you can customize these properties here. For example, if, if I don't want center, I want, for example, a laboratory. I just go here, I write laboratory, and it changes automatically. Also, it's possible to customize these different settings. I go here with the right, edit items, and I can go and change whatever I want here. For example, if I want to write andrology, I can add, I can delete, or I can change the order. Okay, so also it's possible to customize these optional fields. You can press with the right or just double click here and write what you want. If one of these optional fields you don't want to appear in the report, just make double click, remove the word, and will disappear from the report and from everywhere. And all these uh, fields here it's, are possible to modify. You just press with the right and modify what you, whatever you want. Also, it's possible to modify the, the volume here, the change the default value. So here we have the different default values, and you can possibly change them. Here, the volume, it's possible if you press, and you have a scale connected to the system, if you press this button, the volume automatically will be put here. Okay, another thing that it's possible to do 
it's print the slide level if you connect a printer or print the container level okay so once we have the everything here set, uh, fill it we go just to results and we have the different analysis so i will start with the motility analysis we press here now everything is faster uh, to change from model to another model i select the configuration i want for example i select the fresh analysis and here I just go to analyze, I capture three fields. Also in that case, it's faster. It analyzes the different parts of the sperm and check if it has tail or not. There is an intelligent filter to delete all the things that has no tail automatically. So, and also it's possible to capture it depending on the camera you have to arrive to 200 frames per second. Once we have the different fields here, now it's possible to make the change, check here the comparison. And if there is one red field, it means that something happens with the concentration. We can see here that this is low, so we can easily delete this field. And now everything is blue, it means that it's, uh, it's homogeneous. In this new version 6.3, also it's possible here in sort to modify the different settings. For example, in round cells, we can select the color so we can select different colors. Also, it's possible to select the shape if we want square or circle and add or delete the different source. So here we have, for example, round cells, mocus penetration, that this is a functional test that the system automatically detects with fresh samples, hyperactive, that the system detects for the capacitation samples. Okay, and it's possible to add new source here. So. Also in this 6.3, it's easy to now see in the same image we have here, see also the, the source. So for example, we have, if I press play, we have in blue square, the sperms that can penetrate the mocus and in yellow, the round cells, okay? For example, if I go to one of these sperms and I press double click, I can see the track with all the characteristics of this track. And from here also, if I go to spermatozoa, I have one by one all the sperms and this, if I press report, goes directly to, to Excel. So it's very easy to export to Excel the characteristics of each sperm. Also in this uh, new 6.3 version, we have the export field and we have different parameters. We have different files options in MP4, in AVI, in PNG, in BMP. And also when you export, you can export with the tracks or without the tracks. So you can select how you want to export all the different fields. Also, it is the possibility to export to MySCA. This MySCA, it's a, a cloud space uh, with unlimited space for customers. It's a pri private space that you can export all the videos or the files or the results and will be in, in the cloud. And also here, it's possible to save all these uh, analysis directly to the database or to a file where in the file you will have all the videos and all the configurations you analyze it. And it's, this is possible to view with the CA viewer or send to another customer. Also here in configuration, we have here in save the possibility to save automatically to the database, to a file, or both in the database and file. So it's possible to configure everything from the, here, the configuration. So once we have the motility of the fresh, here we have a sospermia, and if we put here, the system says automatically why it's a sospermia. So it says here that the, it's lower than the reference limit of the progressive motile. So we have here all the results, and if we go now, here, SCA motility capacitation. This saves to the database. So we have now the analysis of fresh and of the fresh. Now we can go to the capacitation. We prepare the sample, we put in the microscope, press analyze, and we capture each field. Okay. Also, in this case, the good uh, thing of the system is that can distinguish also the hyperactive sperms. If we go here and we press hyperactive, we can see that the sperms that has the blue square are the ones that are hyperactive. There is the sort, and it gives the percentage of hyperactive sperms here. It says hyperactive and the percentage of hyperactive. So once we have 
both the fresh and the motile, we can here exit. And in the database of the system, we will have the fresh results and the post-treated, the capacitation results. Okay. So once we have this, it's possible also to go to other analysis. For example, in morphology, we go here morphology, we select the configuration, it's possible to use different stains. And then here we go to analyze, we use here, the, we put the sample stain net and we press analyze. Each time we press analyze, the system search for each sperm and classify if it's normal or abnormal. In that case, for example, we have the configuration WHO for five and it's possible to select other uh, other criteria tiger bird david classification david modifier and adaptative that it's uh, possible to use this one if you want that this criteria adapts to your needs and customize to you put your values all depending of what you select here in normal sperms you have here if we select who we have here the different parameters when it's normal and when it's abnormal. And also for the abnormalities, when it's uh, wrong, when it's thin, whatever. Okay, so this is possible to customize if you select the criteria, customize it. Here, the idea is to analyze different fields to arrive to 100 sperms. Also, it's possible to use a motorized stage to do this automatically. The system will do the autofocus and analyze the different parts of the sperm. It will analyze the head, the acrosome part, also if there is back walls or no, and the tail. And for each one, we can see all the characteristics, why it's normal or why it's abnormal, and all the information of the sperm. In red, if it's something it's out of the, the limits. Once we have all the, sample, uh, all the fields analyzed, you need to analyze 100 sperms when you exit saves automatically everything in the in the database also it's possible to analyze the dna fragmentation we use the golcito dna kit you put the sample and it's the same when you press analyze the system automatically detects each sperm if it has no halo it's fragmented and with halo it's not fragmented and the system gives the percentage and when you exit it puts in the database also for vitality, it's possible to do automatically, but also in all the modules, if you don't have the automatic module, you can do it manually. You can write here the number and the system automatically detects this. Also, it's possible to do manually with the counter. So when you press zero or point, it counts manually. This is completely manually. And also there is another option that it's here in programs counter. There are different counters. If we select vitality, then we can do it this with an image and it's pressing one for alive, two for dead. So you can count one, one, two, if it's dead and you can do this for all the, for all the images. This is just manually. Okay. And at the end you receive the percentage of a uh, dead and alive, but all this, it's also possible to do it uh, automatically. So if we do it automatically, we go here, vitality. And in that case, we can do it in bright field or in fluorescence. If we select with the kit bright bit, then in that case, it's automatic. So you just need to press analyze and the system detects each sperm if it's not alive or dead. So you capture different fields. And at the end, you have here the percentage of alive or dead. And it puts automatically in that database. And finally, the last module, it's the acrosome reaction. Here, mod, this model, we use the Fluacro kit. The idea is to analyze a control sample like that. So you analyze different fields. When the sperm has the green part, it means that it's not reacted. And when it's intact, and when it's blue, it means that it's reacted. So in that case, you capture different fields. And once you have the control sample, you need to analyze with the calcium ionoform. You put calcium and you analyze the sample and the system compares before and after the, the calcium. And here, when we exit, we have here the different parameters, the fresh, the analysis of the fresh and the analysis of with calcium and the, percent, and the difference of both. 
so finally here we have all the mm, results of the sample and this, in this version it's possible to have different reports a summary report a complete report the complete report there there is everything with images graphics and it's possible also to customize with all the these results here we have images graphics everything for all the analysis okay so and also it's possible to customize and all the images are also saved in the in the database okay also here it's possible to have for each patient for example a report with all the analysis of this patient so here we can have a history of this patient so it's easy to to see the previous analysis we have done also here in reports that there are a lot also in motility can be do comparison reports in morphology in different analysis and also we have internal quality controls for example here we have a installation certificate where we have for each system if it's correctly cal calibrated or no and also here in reports we have this internal quality control with kusevits that it's possible to do every morning and then it gives a report with a Lenny Jevings graphic if it's correct all the analysis are correct or no so here when we have all the results an option here we can customize here in settings and say necessary to validate if we press here the, that means that a user that has the option to validate the sample it can check that everything is correct and when it press validate the results goes automatically to the list system to it's possible to connect to different databases and when you press validate automatically everything goes to the hospital database and finally here we have a data summarization tool that it's this is good to do a statistics for example if we go here motility we select for example concentration and we select date the system automatically what do it we select here average do for each year the average of all the samples that you have in the database and do the average of the concentration in that case but we can select all the parameters we can select different uh, Anal analysis and all these can press report and goes directly to a to our report so finally here also uh, there is a help with tutorials of each uh, of each characteristic how to do it also there is a technical support that uh, when you press here it connects automatically with microptic and we can do our online support and check everything and finally a meeting room where we can do a, a demos we can do trainings and we can do online trainings. Okay, so this is all.